happy Thursday and welcome back to another a daily vlog. It's your girl Keosha and we are back y'all. It's been a rough week. <laughs> it's been a rough week. I'm about to catch y'all up. I'm about to catch y'all up. But I have a meeting in two minutes so I'm gonna catch you guys up after my meeting. I just wanted to come in and say good morning. The heat has been coming on lately y'all so it's probably a little chilly outside. Um, but it says it is 59 degrees, so it's been raining as well. Um, but it's supposed to stop raining, I think, tonight or tomorrow night. And Saturday's supposed to be sunny, so let us pray that it keeps up. We're about to go into my office and get this day started. Um, <clears throat> and the vlog from yesterday did not go up because it was uploading and I fell asleep. Because I wasn't feeling well, but I have to tell you guys the story of why I'm not feeling well when my meeting is over. So I will see you guys in about 20 minutes because our meeting lasts for like 15 minutes. So I will come back to you guys in a minute, but I just want to say good morning. I'm feeling much better today, thank goodness, but still a little under the weather, but I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. We hold on down on my nerves already. <laughs> They don't got on my nerves already. You hear me? So let's just recap from the last vlog because a lot has happened from the last vlog. As you can tell, my hair is different too. So y'all know Sunday we went to brunch, right? Why? I think I got food poisoning. <laughs> yes, I got food poisoning. If you saw the vlog, you know where we went. I can't confirm or deny they gave me food poisoning, but I will just say that was the only place I ate that day. Okay, and then Monday I couldn't even eat anything. Now, while food, it wasn't a bad food poison. I know because I never did vomit or anything like that, but I did have bad stomach cramps and it, like watery stool, like water. So that was like Monday, Tuesday, and then I think Tuesday, my friend. So I was thinking maybe it was a Crohn's disease thing or. Something because I was like, I only ate there and maybe I just shouldn't have ate what I ate. But I didn't have nothing that I don't normally have. And I didn't have anything that I wasn't supposed to have that day. And so I was just like, I don't know. And so I looked up the system. I was like, well, maybe I have food poisoning. I was like, but I, ain't, I don't think I've ever had food poisoning before. And so Tuesday morning, my friend called me on the way to work. So I did go to work, even though my stomach was still messed up. I tried to like just drink stuff and not do anything that would require a stool, right? And so I, I did pretty good that day. And I went because I was going to get my, I had to get my hair appointment. It was too late to cancel without her keeping my deposit. So I didn't, I went, I made myself go. Um, so I worked all day. And then I, um, my friend called me Tuesday morning, the one who I went with uh, to brunch at the place. And she was like, so, you know, I've been talking to my husband and this, that, and the other. And she's like, have you had any stomach issues? I was like, bitch, we got food poisoning. I literally was like, bitch, okay, it's true. We got food poisoning. Because <laughs> she was like, girl. And then she said the reason why she thinks it was that too is because she ate with me. And then that night she went home and cooked, I think, some soup or something with her and her husband. And he's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. And the only person who was sick are the two people who were together at that one restaurant, right? And like I said, I didn't eat anything else that night because I started actually feeling bad, bad that night. And so I didn't eat anything else. And so, yeah, I think so. I finally called my doctor yesterday, which was Wednesday. And just because it was like, if you have Crohn's disease, autoimmune disease, you know, you need to call just in case, you know, because some bacteria just won't go away. And uh, I'm feeling better today. I don't have as bad. It was really bad yesterday my cramps and stuff but it's better today um and so i um damn i lost my train of thought sorry better today and not as bad so she told me to call her tomorrow if i still feel really really bad and i'm hoping it's all cleared up by tomorrow maybe the weekend i don't know how long it's supposed to last um because we're supposed to be going saturday to the game at Jalen school so that was that so then tuesday i went and got my hair uh, I washed and blow dried it myself, but I just went in to a curl for her. That's all she had. What I really want to know was discuss me going natural, right? So I thought my hair was breaking off and I thought I had did such a bad job. But she was like, no, it's good. It looks really thin now because she has a way better flat iron than me. I feel like I ain't got no hair on my head. I feel like I'm bald headed. She flat ironed it so damn straight. 
And I was like, I got my flat iron, don't get that straight. And she like, cause baby, you ain't got no baby list. She said, you got the little chi. <laughs> and I said, she said, what degrees you put it on? I said, they don't really have the on and off button. And she like, yeah, on and off buttons only go up to like 375, maybe 400. She's like, so you, she like, my shit be like 450. So she was like, yeah, you, your shit ain't. <laughs> It ain't it, basically. But I told her I don't need one. That's it. You know why? Because I have way more heat damage if I had a flat iron that went any higher than that. So, yeah. So, she ended up trimming it. She said, I've been doing really good. So, my hair is like armpit length now. So, it's grown. You know, last time it was at my shoulder. So, it's grown quite a little bit. And I, it's official, y'all. I think I'm going natural. I think I can officially say it now. Because I told her to relax her like She said that was a really good relaxer. She said, but it has been discontinued. She's like, you don't need no relaxer, no way. I said, but I ain't never seen my hair in my natural straight and I state. And I told her, I don't think I want to be a straight natural. I think I want to wear my curls. And she's like, you can do that. I said, but how am I going to look? Like, I'm so used to seeing myself in one way. So we're we going to see how this goes. I said, don't be mad if I pop up and be like, give me a relaxer. She said, and I'm out. <laughs> she said, and I ain't. Because <laughs> she know I'm not going to be able to get nothing over the counter anymore that's going to do what I wanted to do. So she got me there. Um, so we'll just have to see. But I think we're officially going natural. Don't quote me, quote me, but quote me. And then yesterday, um, I went to get a massage with Alicia, and it was really nice because I needed it. I was stressed out. This job has been stressing me lately, you guys. And it's not the job, it's the people. These people have been stressing me out. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. Um so, yeah, that's what's been going on. So, I have another meeting in like 15 fucking minutes and I need to eat breakfast. And I also, so I told you guys I don't want to eat breakfast every day, but I haven't been eating breakfast every day because I haven't been feeling well. But I think Monday I had toast for breakfast because my stomach was so upset and then I had spaghetti for dinner. And then yesterday, I mean Tuesday, I went into work and I did get breakfast at the cafeteria but I don't, I did end up eating lunch. I had like chicken fingers and uh, curly fries. And then I didn't eat dinner. And then yesterday I just had lunch. Like I didn't have breakfast. Um, and then this morning I haven't eaten anything yet either. And two of the mornings I felt like when I woke up in the morning I was going to throw up. But I think it's just because I haven't been eating enough food. Because I just, my stomach be hurting like the other day, man. It had so much gas and bloating, like it was so tight. Um, I know that's TMI, but you know, it's real, real over here. And my house is a fucking mess, and I'm a mess, and we all messy. <laughs> and I say that, but I mean it this time. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. I don't, I don't know. I'm so tired. Um, I might just take this meeting on my phone and uh. And, uh, be cooking while I'm doing it because I do need to make me something to eat. But my computer been acting stupid lately. Like, it's really getting on my nerves. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? So when I take a meeting on my phone, I have to put, like, my Zoom link in my Slack account so I know which one it is. I, like, Slack it to myself. And put which meat it is just in case I want to do that and be moving around and doing stuff. So there's that one. And then we have another one right after that. So I'm going to probably end up taking that one in there too. But it's a gloomy day, y'all. It's been raining. I need to go to the post office, y'all. One of my boots are in. And I'm so oh, I hope they fit, y'all. I hope they fit. I got a nine and a half because I just wasn't sure. Uh huh. And I pray that they fit and they not too, too big. They probably definitely won't be too small. They're either going to fit just right or be a, too big. And I hope not because it's a tragedy. If so. But maybe if I put some inserts in them, they'll fit. Because sometimes I like to put inserts in my shoes. Since I have plantar fasciitis. Is that how you say it? That's what I got. And then, oh shit, I'm supposed to get the thumbnail for the vlog. The vlog went, got uploaded yesterday, but it never went out. I need to get the thumbnail together for that. Oh, I guess I need my phone. I'm going to take the damn link, Yosha. And today we just have on this. Oh, they lost me. 
we just have on a gray tank top and then we have on these gray uh pants i've seen with fashion nova they have the matching hoodie to go with it but i didn't put it on i might need to though because it's like cold in here today it was 59 this morning i don't think it's warmed up any at all oh what's the sun out is the sun bright and early shiny oh the sun's out today yay y'all know i thrive in sunshine i thrive in sunshine hey hey yes yes let's see what the weather feels like is it a crisp sunshiny day or a mildly good sunshiny day it's a moderately good sunshiny day, but it has been raining. You know it's been raining so hard when you have water spots on the on the screen. Like my screen has water spots and it's wet all in. So it's been raining like no tomorrow. And so hopefully I can get these leaves dried out so I can sweep them off the porch. I have to do it off this one and the front porch. And then I wanted to get that cleaned out and set up today in my refrigerator and get those drinks out of my car. And then I wanted to turn the rug around so the burnt spots are on this side so the table doesn't have to be so close to the couch. So I wanted to do that too. I'm so ambitious with no energy. I just be thinking of shit to do when I should be sitting the hell down. But you know me, I can't do it. It's always something to do. <laughs> it's always something to do, y'all. And I be doing it too. So there's that. But other than that, y'all, I am feeling much, much better. Let me know below y'all ever had food poisoning and how bad. It I know some people have food poisoning. They have to go to the hospital. I'm hoping that's not my case. I feel like it's not my case because I feel better. And I also was not vomiting profusely. So I feel like mine was a mild case, but a case nonetheless. And uh, I forgot to wash one of these pillow covers and it's bothering me because it looks a mess. Um, so I might have to just throw that in the washing machine by itself, to be honest, because it's ugly and I hate it. And I need to fix it. What is that? Is that a bug? Y'all, I be out here and be mad about bugs and stuff like I don't live in the country. <laughs> and I need to get another extension cord because I don't think my fridge and stitching cord is going to fit back there, but it might be able to go that way. But I like to put it under the couch and not towards the thing because it'd be raining. I don't want it to get wet. So I'll be out here figuring this shit out. <sighs> because honestly, I may or may not take my ass to work tomorrow the way they're getting on my fucking nerves. <sighs> Lord have mercy. All right, let me do this and let me go find my headphones so I can talk on this meeting. I hope they ain't sharing the screen because I ain't looking. <laughs> Lonely, Ricky Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aquí soltamos tickets. Y después estamos freaky, yeah. A veces pone piqui. Pero es bien cool para perrear, yeah. Ya se ve. Ahora me enfoco en usted Sabes como quiero verte más Como me quieres ver Soltando la mano, bebé Esta rumba está tanta tan Indica como 50 cent Esa Barbie quiere su can Ey, ay, bebé Esta rumba está tanta tan Indica como 50 cent Esa Barbie quiere su can Arriba su actitud pero el booty Se vuelve todo un relajo La baby no es pupi Aunque tenga Gucci Es pro en una rookie Es como cartel Menea bien funky Me dice que tranqui Que después del party Nos vamos a ver La baby no es pupi Aunque tenga Gucci Es pro en una rookie Es como cartel Menea bien funky Me dice que tranqui Que después del party Nos vamos a ver Soy el mono más bebé Esta rumba está ten de ten Indie club como 50 cent esa Barbie quiere su can Ey, ay, bebé Esta rumba está tendente En un club como 50 cent Esa Barbie quiere su can Estoy ahí Y no te llamo María, ay Es que perreamos todo el día, cae Y tráete una amiga, cae, cae Que te hace 
se me va, baila mía, yeah. es que esto hace la tanda, es calle y musical, te canto do re mi fa, soltamos ticket, y después estamos freaky, yeah. la bebé se pone piqui, pero es bien cool para perrear, yeah. ya se ve, ahora me enfoco en usted, sabes como quiero verte problems all right you guys it is 12 o'clock and i finished my other meeting you guys saw i was washing the dishes and stuff as i was going through that meeting and i cooked me some breakfast i'm full now so i can't even eat my other piece of toast or my egg and i'm not even gonna try to make myself eat it um i'm gonna make tomorrow to make one piece of toast and one egg because this was two egg i ate most of it i did eat the two sausages so i'm about to give me some water my doctor told me to stay hydrated so I'll get some water I just posted the vlog that was supposed to go up yesterday. I didn't want to post it super early in the morning, so I was waiting until 12 o'clock to post it. So it is live now. And then later on tonight, I need to edit tomorrow's video. And then, you know, we don't have any more Sunday videos, so it won't be nothing for Sunday. And I think I have one last clip. That I need to import. Oh, please don't tell me I lost it. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful. Since these are such micro ones, I'd be scared I'm going to lose it. Because it's so tiny. So I'm going to have to really keep up and make sure I put stuff inside of the um, inside the little thing to go in. Because if not, it's going to be lost, child. It's going to be lost. I think I have a few more clips on here that need to go in the weekend vlog. Yeah, I knew it was like two of them. Okay, so we're going to download those two clips right um, I think this is this clip when I made me some tea because my stomach was hurting. And this was Sunday night. So, I'm going to import that. Tell me what day that was. That was so cute. Oh no, is this the. Oh yeah, there goes Sunday. That was Friday. Okay, I'm over here like, what are these clips? I'm all out of order and shit. Okay, gotcha. Okay. But it has not been delivered yet. And I want to say I ordered it before we even went to LA. Like, why is this shit taking so long? Like, Y'all, it sounds a lot better in the car when I have the microphone. So you told these now, it's like seven something, wasn't it? <laughs> but I think I have to remember whether it's on or not. And then, like I said, do all the things. So that's what's going on with that. I'll be back in a minute because I want to show you guys my new boots came in. So I ordered two pairs. I don't know which pair this is, but there's another pair. They're the same, but they're a different color. And they're super cute. They're going to be perfect for fall, especially with like my sisters. So I want to show you guys. I got them from Belk. It was on sale. So I'll be back. All right, you guys. So here is the box. Like I said, I picked this up from Belk. So I'm going to see. I'm going to be pissed if they don't. Because they're so cute and they're perfect. Because I have to give away two pairs of my shoes because they're too high now. I just can't wear them anymore. Um, so I was looking to replace two pairs of shoes that I'm actually going to give to Alicia because she said she likes them. That's what she said now, but I wouldn't be surprised she eventually give them away. <laughs> so she might get a little wear and tear out of them. But they're by Dose Vida. They take this to the box. Let me do that for you. They take the package to the box. I don't know why, but let's see. Oh, these are the 
the cream ones. Ooh, do y'all see these? I'm so excited. Look, you guys. This is what they look like. Aren't they cute? Let me bring y'all a little closer since the, the thing is in the way. Look at those. So I'm giving away a pair of cream ones. They're pretty much brighter cream than this. This is more like a, a beigey off-white versus an off-white off-white. So let's see if they fit, you guys. I did get a nine and a half in the shoe. Now I wish it had a zipper all the way. This is one that has a zipper just this, just halfway right here. I usually don't like those, but let's pray my calf isn't too fat. I can't remember if I got wide calf or not. I think I did. I think I did get wide calf. Let me see. I hope so. It was not on the box. Damn it. They usually put like the sticker on the box. So I want to say, oh no, it says women's flapper. So I don't know if that means wide, that W. I want to say I got wide calf. I mean, it don't even have the size on the bottom of the shoe anymore. They, you don't put size on the bottom of the shoes anymore? Right, let's go ahead and put these on. I'm going to angle y'all down so y'all can see. And let's see if my fat foot will fit in here. <laughs> or my fat legs. Oh, Lord. I just slept the floor. But I didn't sleep over here. I didn't sleep over here. I'm so old, you guys. Oh, they fit my legs, but I don't know, you guys. Like, is that too tight? I think they're too tight. I think I'm going to have to return them. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I could lose my leg. It's not, like, overly tight. But if I gain even an inch... They're not going to fit around here anymore. Oh, man. What do you guys think? They definitely fit perfect. A nine and a half was great. Um, let me try the other one on. Ugh, I need to lose about 10 pounds, y'all. That's just... Save me from everything, to be honest. And these weren't even that expensive either. So, and one leg is always fatter than the other one, I've noticed too. Like my, my right leg is skinnier in the calf area. My left leg is skinnier in the calf. See, it fits much looser on this side than it does on that side. So it's much skinnier. But I think, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's, I think we're good. So what do you guys think? Do y'all like them? I love them. These are so cute. And it's a perfect height that it won't hurt my ankle. That's why I picked them. And they were really nice. So if I remember, I'll link them down below. I don't know if the sale is on anymore. It may or may not be. But these fit perfect. Yeah, these are great. So, those are one pair of new boots. What do you guys think? I'm going to go look in the mirror. But I think they're, oh, I think they're a keeper. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, you guys, we are back and we were, <laughs> we've been off work. I took a nap. It is 6 o'clock. So, I've been, took me a two-hour nap with what's much needed. But now we're gonna, you know, get our lives. Get our lives. Get our lives. All right. Um, my closet is still not put together. And you know, at this point, I don't really care. I'm gonna get my life together one day, but I just don't know when it's gonna be. And I'm just gonna have to be okay with that because at this point, I can't give no more than that I ain't got. <laughs> Like, I can't give no more that I ain't got. It's so damn dark in this house, y'all. Jeez. So, what I want to do is I want to go out on the deck and rearrange all of this stuff so that we can sit out on the deck tonight. I haven't sat out on the deck, y'all, since my party. Like, I have not been back out here at all. And that is just freaking ridiculous. 
Like I really need to get it together out here. And I thought about sitting out here tonight and bringing my little TV out here and watching a movie and drinking some tea. And I think that's what we're going to do. So first things first is to get everything in some type of order. So since it's chilly out here, I'm going to go ahead and close the back curtain and the side curtains. And I'm going to leave the front curtains open. But first we're going to put our... Our, uh, what these things called? Our fans away. Tuck them back how I had it for the birthday party. Back behind these curtains. So you, they're there, but you can't really see them. But I'm also scared to do that because if it's raining and they get wet, I'm going to be upset. So no, we're going to take them in the house. We're going to take them in the house. We're going to put them in somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we're going to put them somewhere in the house. We're just going to take them in the house because if I put them behind the curtain, it's still going to rain on them if it rains and they don't need to get wet. So we're just going to figure out where we're going to be able to store them in the house that's not too all in the way, right? And then the next thing I need to do is run this cord. For this refrigerator, but I'm gonna have to bring the refrigerator up and see how far back it can, how far it can stretch under the sink. I think I'm still gonna have to get a another extension cord, but this is gonna be for another day. Another day, another day. So we're gonna close this up. Oh, I had too many curtains on the side. I was like, why does it look thicker in the middle? I was supposed to push that curtain that way, y'all. And I didn't even do it. It's fine, though. It is just fine. We're going to close this up here. And tonight, we're just going to drink tea and stuff. Like I said, my stomach is still not 100%, so I don't want to drink any alcohol or anything or sip any wine. So we're not going to do that tonight. Um, so... Close this up. And the reason why I'm closing it up is because we'll probably turn on the fire station. I mean the fire table to kind of keep the warmth in. It is gonna be it is a little chilly since it's been raining. It's a little chilly, a little chilly. So we're just gonna get everything together here. And the wind is see the wind is blowing a little bit, so I don't want the wind to blow in or help the curtains and help the wind block a little bit. Whenever I sit out here, I always move all of my cushions, y'all, because, you know, spiders, we is outside, and they need spiders and stuff, and so I be having to protect myself. Uh, so I'm going to see how far I can stretch this and still plug up my lamp or whatnot up under the seat. Um, let's see how far this can stretch under here. Oh, let's see. So we can plug it up. I can go ahead and stock up the refrigerator because I have some sodas in my car and I have some waters that I need to put out here as well. So we're just going to see how far each of these. It should work for now, but I do eventually want to get something else. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. And what I do is I just stick that under the couch. But this is in the way, so I'm gonna move this down a little bit. <laughs> move that down a little bit. And we're gonna push the cords under the couch. Uh, that kind of helps hide all the cords and stuff. What I love about these, they're sturdy, but they are lightweight. So that's perfect. So now we can 
in. Turn on the lamp and turn off the big light. So this is how it looked with the lamp. And this is how it looks with the big light. So once I get the TV out here, rolled out here, we can watch a movie or whatever. Cause we are, we're just gonna chill out here tonight and get cozy. I need to start using this more often than not. And I haven't been utilizing my deck for the last couple of weeks. So I really want to utilize it. So we're just gonna, you know, do what we do here. Try to keep this as enclosed as possible because it's going to get cold as the night goes on. All right, so it is on, but it does need to be cleaned out. So I'm going to Clorox it down right quick. Oh, did it lose me? It lost me, y'all. I find myself uh, up here. Track my face. Track my face, child. There we go. Um, so we are going to Clorox it up a little bit and then we'll clean it out and stock it up. And then we'll have drinks and things galore. But this really is just going to be a drink fridge or whatnot. So, I'm just going to clean. Just going to, you know, I love the Clorox up some. I do Clorox everything, and then I go to the damn restaurant and get freaking food poisoning. Ain't that a, am ironic? <laughs> but anyway, let me go out to the car and get these drinks and these sodas, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and brought the drinks in. They're in the living room on the couch. I went ahead and brought the TV out here. But first, we're going to go ahead and clean out the refrigerator here. Move this out of the way for a minute. Go ahead and get this all cleaned off. Do good in the cold outside? I hope it don't die when it gets like super cold outside. I, I forgot about that. I didn't think about that. Is this an indoor fridge or an indoor outdoor? There's difference. I hope not. Guess we'll find out if it died this winter. I'm gonna have to get a new fridge just for indoor outdoor, so it doesn't matter if it gets cold outside. We'll find out together. Together, peoples. For sure. Alrighty. That's all cleaned out. So we're going to go ahead and put these shelves back in here. So we can go ahead and fill this back and it up. I think this one's going to be here. So I got waters and sodas. So I'll be right back and sodas so i'm trying not to get full size sodas but the mini ones just so that i don't be drinking a lot of sodas and i got i think so let's see okay, so the waters i need to see what sizes will fit where let's see here so i got cherry coke because i love cherry cokes tight and then the water bottles are tall too so let me see if i do this will they fit here then it won't fit at all so 
So let's, let's see what we can get done here. Let's put these waters in here first. I don't know if these all gonna fit in here, y'all. We're gonna try. So basically, I can do two cases of water and maybe three cases of mini sodas. I need to keep that so whenever I run out, I know how many I can purchase and they'll still fit in here. might just fit on top so that'll be like my limitations for how this be fully stocked i don't know how many i need we'll take these two. and they won't fit in this thing because this is for full size ones, so they won't fit there so let's just see if we can put these on top here We're gonna make it y'all we're gonna make it so four cases of sodas and two cases of water oh the question is will it close since it's so close no it won't close ah oh what are we gonna do y'all some of these maybe just have to be for restock i'll just put them in a box and then we'll just, whatever's in here is in here. And that'll just be it. So we'll put these back in a box. And then I can just replenish these when they're, what you call So we'll put the overflow on our little cart thing over there. So let's see how many. So this is a full box. So this box is full. So I need to figure out how to get these in here. These last four, which is gonna stick over here like this. And pray they stay and not fall. Oh, or stick them like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. Okay, that'll work too, y'all. That way, we'll just have some sitting on top. But we'll still have some overflowing. And that's fine. Will this one fit? Uh, it won't fit. There we go. I think we're good now. So that'll work like that. And then we have two, four, six, one, maybe, maybe eight left in here. So we'll just put on our little cart over here and then there we go so we'll leave those to get cold and let me go and get myself together and we can uh chill out on the deck guys right. we're back shower is finished got on my pajamas so lately i've been wearing like like i said a light perfume like a fresh scent perfume when i go to bed at night and so i'm wearing this orby cote d'azur this i picked up in LA it was in our we actually got it as a gift with the body stuff y'all this smells just like clean and so clean and fresh with a hint of I don't know what it is I can recognize it but I can't like pinpoint it on my tongue what it is it has a little bit of spice in it too it's not just super fresh it has like some kind of spice to it and so I don't know but I love how it smells when I get ready to go to bed and then I wake up in the morning and be smelling so good I'd be like yes okay it's the little things, the little things, okay? Um, so this is spaghetti. Let's see how much we have left. I said I was gonna make this whole thing, but that is way too much. I'm not gonna eat all that, so we're gonna make some in a bowl. Um, let me get my bowl here. Wait, make way more spaghetti than I need and I don't know why and I hate that sometimes I be wanting this to look at me and you if I put it down would it do it no it's still gonna be like really really low okay it might let you see a little something so that way uh, maybe if I bag it up let's see if we can bag it up let's 
bag it up and see if you guys can see better. Oh, yep, that's it, that's it. Okay, <laughs> I know I'm silly. Um, so, we're just gonna put, I always make, am I the only one I always make way more noodles than I can eat? So I just take a, like a handful of noodles. I don't like a lot of noodles. I like more meat than I do noodles on mine. Um, so I don't usually put a lot of noodles in my spaghetti. And then I really want to learn how to make shrimp scampi. I know it's probably not hard, but I've never tried to make it. I really love shrimp scampi. So, okay, is it, yeah, scampi with the noodles in it. So we're gonna put half of this meat in here and that way we can have the other half for lunch tomorrow and we'll be already 50% better for it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on three minutes and then I did go outside. I want something sweet, you guys. I want something sweet. I forgot I bought the, um, these Toll House cookies, and I have not made them yet. I made them, I bought the minis. And so I'm trying to see if I'm going to cook these tonight, or if they're just something too late to be eating anyway. Um, so it says it's 20 cookies, but I'm not cooking 20 cookies. So nine or 10 minutes. So I feel like if I cook like three cookies, it'll be like, like, is it worth it to, to, cook three cookies, three mini cookies at that. You know what I'm saying? And eat this. What's the serving size is how many? Yeah, see the serving size is three cookies, which is what I was thinking I needed three cookies, but I don't feel like getting all out just for three little mini cookies. I think I'm just being lazy and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am definitely a-okay with that. Um, my raspberries, I ate some of them, but they're going bad, unfortunately. So, I'm just throwing away. Let's open this and stir it up. gonna drink water like we're gonna be safe we're gonna try to flush all this stuff out my doctor told me to drink a lot of water and stay hydrated so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna get a big old cup I'm gonna say a big old cup of water that says hello fall all right we have our drink have our dinner we have our phone in case a murderer person try to come out here and get me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I haven't had one problem knock on some wood in uh, the whole time I've been out here. So we're going to pray it continues to stay that way. Now I need to decide what side of the deck I'm going to lay on. Or this sofa. I think I'm going to lay on this side of the sofa. And this over here. And then we're going to move these out of the way just for now and then we're going to get our blanket we're going to shake out our blanket again spiders bugs you never know just shake it out just to make sure you're not inviting something to get you or bite you or do all the crazies okay and it makes me want to turn on the big light right quick just to make sure <laughs> Nothing came of it. I don't have time for no more issues, okay? Not today, baby. Yeah, I think we're good. I need to go put some socks on because my feet get cold and I don't have any socks. Hold on. All right. If you're wondering why I have these pillows, leaning against this is hard. It's soft plastic, but it's still hard, like against your back. And so... I put that pillow, those pillows there just for that. So let's put our socks on. Oh, that's better. Okay. And we have our blanket here. Now that I've gotten out of the shower, I was hot before the shower. But I'm a little chilly now. And I hope this blanket is thick enough because if it ain't, we're about to go get another one. 
you know what? We're going to be better safe than sorry. Let's just get everything we need now so I don't have to get up no more and be mad. We're going to get my heated blanket just in case we get cold. I can just pop it on right quick, have it plugged in, and we don't have to worry about getting up no more. One last thing. I told y'all I wanted something sweet, so we're going to get our little lemon drops here. So when I want something sweet, we can just open that up and get something sweet. So we're going to just lay this out and plug it in behind me here. And then we'll have the remote close by. And that'll be perfection. And then we'll put this blanket over it. And then we'll have two blankets. All right, y'all. <laughs> I know I've been preparing this for like 50 minutes. But I wanted to make sure I didn't have to get up no more, okay? Because if I get up one more time, I'm being the damn bed, okay? I'm be over it. So let's turn off our lights here. We're going to leave the lamp on. We're just going to turn the big light out. And now we're going to watch Bad Boys. And eat our spaghettis. Yummy, yummy. And my tummy. Hey. up from the sunshine on my face so dehydrated don't know what to say who's sleeping by my side what did i do last night can someone make this headache go away yesterday was supposed to be quiet be into myself and sit in silence Till I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for a while We were dancing in the dark With a feeling in our eyes Felt like we had it all We were dancing in the dark We were dancing in watching bad boys it was good i enjoyed it so i was trying to see what else was out that i haven't watched that i may want to watch i don't want to watch christmas movies yet is that bad i feel like it's not bad but i don't want to watch christmas movies yet so i was trying to see what have i not watched that would catch my eye that is new 
but I really haven't been paying attention to anything in the movies at all. So I really just don't even know what's out. And like I said, I don't, a lot of Christmas stuff is out now and I don't want to watch a Christmas movie yet. What's this? Levels? What's this about? Uh, after witness her girlfriend's, his girlfriend's murder, a man risked everything, including reality itself, to discover the truth. Yeah, no. Next. And I gotta go and get the right remote for this, because it's not acting right at all. And I might just go to like my movie section um, where it um, it just plays movies based on what's on TV. And that's usually what I do and I can't find nothing to watch. I need to start making me a list of movies that I want to watch so I can um, do it. Is there a Hocus Pocus, a Hocus Pocus 3? Did I watch that already? Or... What's, I feel like I watched 2, but was it, is it the 3? I can't remember. Damn it. My remote, my other remote to the actual, I have the remote to the TV, the one to the fire stick. It's in my office. I don't feel like going all the way in there. So I keep having to go back home in order to get back when I look at a movie. We're going to go over here to this other section. And if all said and done, you know, we go watch some Criminal Minds or some Law and Order SVU. My defaults. Y'all, it feels so good out here. I've been under my heated blanket while I'm watching movies and it's a vibe. It is a freaking vibe. You hear me? What year is that? I don't even sound like no damn we gonna watch. Um, oh, I love The Last Witch Hunter. I don't know why I like that movie. Oh, it's about to go off though. Oh, no. Well, no, it just started. No, that's another movie. Wrong one. It started at 9. It goes off in like 20 minutes. No, I ain't gonna watch it then. Um, let's see. Oh, I know what I wanted to watch. Now I remember. I want to watch... Um, the Deadpool, the Deadpool Re Wolverine movie. I haven't seen it yet. And I saw some today. Like a little clip on YouTube. And I was like, oh, that was interesting. I wasn't, I was sort of interested in it, but I wasn't. And so when I saw the clip today, I was like, oh, that look, I want to know what the, what the context of this, <laughs> this clip was. So now we're going to have to go ahead and, um, uh, I think I keep seeing some, um, Go ahead and watch it. So, I think that's what we're gonna watch. It is currently nine fourteen, so it's not even late, y'all. It's not even late. Oh no! So I can search for the movie, but I can't get out of here. I'm gonna have to go get the remote, y'all. I can search for the movie, but it won't let me out. Cause usually I hit the back button. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to hit next. Am I supposed to hit next? Yeah. Okay, there we go. I was gonna be pissed. So there was. 2016, 2018. I ain't seen the rest of these. Anyway, I'm going to watch Deadpool uh, and Wolverine. And I'll tell you guys how I like it. 
like, damn, this shit, two hours? This movie be getting longer and longer, y'all. I may or may not stay awake. We'll find out together. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Alright you guys, the movies are over. It's almost 12 o'clock. I did fall asleep a little bit. Uh-oh, it's not doing the follow. I did fall asleep a little bit during the Wolverine movie, but it was pretty good. And I, uh, I just want to tell y'all how I watched the whole thing. I mean, it was okay. I kind of got the gist of it. So, we just put everything back in its order because that's the best way to do stuff. Okay, I want to turn... Number two off and close the door. So we put all the dishes up. I do need to take my remote back in my office, but I'll do it in the morning. We'll just leave it by the tea station. I'm gonna turn off these light things because we are about to go to bed. Oh wait, what did I just do with the <laughs> what did I just do with that fire stick? Did I bring it in my room? Yeah, I literally just had my fire stick somewhere because I got it out of my bedroom. Okay, there it is. I just want to make sure I didn't lose it. We locked the door. Lock this door. Let's turn this off. And subject is lost. Y'all know the only thing I hate about this is that I wish it had like autofocus. Well, it does, but it doesn't have autofocus. Like if you turn on the face tracking, like you're in a camera and you come out of it, it'll come back and find your face. This one doesn't come back and find your face. You have to keep tapping on the screen. It's fucking annoying. So I need to see if there's a certain way to get it to do it. But it might not be because, you know, it only costs a million dollars. Where did I plug that up? Oh, I must have plugged it up in the kitchen. I was like, I plugged up that battery somewhere. Need to get that you guys because I need to plug up the next battery for tomorrow because oh and I left I'm just leaving stuff everywhere I've been worse than I'm damn sure I got perfume in here <laughs> remotes iPads batteries get it together Kyosha get it together girl Get it together, Belch. Can you not see my face thing? Thank you very much. All right, let's put our perfume back in here. Let's take off these house shoes. And let's put this back. Subject is lost. Ah! And then we're going to put this over here. And we're going to plug this up and plug up the battery so it'll be charged in the morning. Because tomorrow starts a new vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog. Like I said, we didn't do much. You know what? You know what? This is not what we're going to do tonight. Okay, I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> I'm too tired for this shit. I'm going to plug this up. And we're going to bed. You hear me? Going to bed. Alright, so this one's charged. Charging. This one is charged. And tomorrow I need to make it a mission to fucking clean this damn room up, man. This is getting on my nerves. It really is. I'm so over it. Oh, it's already 100% charged. Since when? That's interesting. 
Hmm. I wonder if I have a different cord. What does this look like this? I don't know what this thing is doing, y'all. It's just getting what is this doing? Is it getting frayed? It's like getting frayed a little bit. But anyway, I digress. I'm about to brush my teeth, wash my face. Because we haven't done that yet. And I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn the notification bell. Okay? Turn it on. Click it. <laughs> so you don't miss not a now another video from me. And I will see you guys on Friday. Deuces.